Hey everybody, Clint Hardy back with you, uh, September 3rd, 2018, and uh, the video today is going to be a splice between one that I made back in July. Um, we're heading to the fields right now, and we're going to do some spot checks, some soybean yield analysis, um, just using some simple uh, equations on how to, how to uh, check for yields. I uh, did it a couple weeks ago and uh, the numbers blew me away but I wanted to do it again uh, just to double check myself and make sure that we're doing everything properly so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get this thing going Hey guys, Clint Hardy back with you. Uh, it is July 17th, uh, 10 days, I'm sorry, seven days after I made the last video in this field down in the lagoon. And I just wanted to give you an update, see how well, see how much those beans have grown just in the last seven days. These rows are about to canopy in. I went ahead and made the decision to come in here and cultivate real quick. As you can tell, it is cloudy and we are getting ready to uh get some thunderstorms here in the next i'd say in the next 45 minutes and i have probably a few more acres to do so i should be able to get most of it done um, but i just wanted to come out and show you uh, uh an update on this field just in the last seven days uh they are looking phenomenal uh they are they've grown seven eight inches just in the last seven days which is amazing uh, I am plowing a few out because I am uh, quite a bit taller than what I really would like to be when I'm out here cultivating uh, with this tractor. The cultivator is not really set up to handle it properly. Um, so there are a little bit of plows, like right here, right at my feet. Those may come back up. I'm not 100% sure or not. Some of them did get ripped out, um, but it, it, overall... As you can tell, um, these beans are looking very good. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update and uh, tie into the video that I made on the 10th of July. All right, guys. Hope you're all having a good one. Hey guys, Clint Hardy back with you. Um, Move my hand out of the way. Um, this is 45 days later, and the beans are uh, almost belly button high, a little over belly button high. And this is the one of the worst places on this field uh, as far as height goes. So the uh, beans did very good uh, I'm gonna come back here where this is where I was standing the last time I had uh, made the video so beans look really good uh, we are at September 3rd so we are probably another month away from harvest so uh, let's take a uh, couple soybean plants here out and do some soybean analysis. So guys, what we did was we pulled a couple plants. Uh, we didn't cherry pick um, one plant over another. Uh, we just reached down and yanked a couple out. After I did that, I took my uh, tape measure and I measured 21 inches. So we were looking at one ten thousandth of an acre. Uh, we don't have to go in and do actually stand counts. We just need to measure 21 inches to get our approximate uh, plant population in those 21 inches. So 
what we do is uh, since we're on 30 inch rows uh, you have to remember 21 so everything's 21 inches so you count the number of plants in that 21 inch uh, space for us today we had 15 plants okay uh, now maybe this end of the field is higher than than that end over there um, this was one of the poor looking fields but there's there's beans all the way up here to the top so on this plant we had 45 pods countable pods now i'm going to show you as an example you need to have it at least an inch long so this pod right here uh this one right here we are not going to count that so we are only going to count these pods right here that are gonna uh, that are over an inch long and have at least one bean in it um so that one was 45 pods per plant and this one was 53. so we're going to split the difference and we are going to say that there are 49 pods per plant now what you have to do is you have to take that that uh uh, 45 times the number of plants so 45 times 18 and I'm gonna walk over to my truck and get a calculator all right guys so I came back to my truck I wanted to get out of the wind as well as I needed to use my phone since uh, I forgot my calculator at home um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you um, the math so what we did was don't pay attention to this up here that was a mistake so what we did was we had 49 pods per plant on average so we just took an average um, it's this is not the most accurate way to do it so one plant we had 45 the other plant we had uh, 53 so we just took an average of 49 we split the difference what we did was after that we counted the number of, of plants in 21 inches and that totaled 15 now on that specific row it might be just in that one spot so other plants in other areas it might be higher it might be lower my population I planted was 100 and, uh, 140 about 145,000 plants per acre on this on this uh, uh, field so uh, we counted 15 plants in 21 inches uh, from there so we took 49 times 15. That gave us a total of 735 pods in those 21 inches. Sounds pretty good, right? Um, so we take that 735 pod number in 21 inches times an average of 2.5 seeds per pod. Now, that's just a, an average. There's a lot of three, boy, uh, three bean pods out there. Um, but, you know, I don't want to sound, I don't want to get overzealous um, I should probably take it by two but just for honoriness we did 2.5 so that gave us a, a total of 1837.5 seeds per 21 inches so we take that number divided by 18 so that's roughly 3,000 seeds per per pound that's uh, just an average size an average average size seed um, now if we get some more rain they might get bigger um uh, they might you know if we don't get any rain if they don't have the conditions they might abort pods they might not complete development of the seed uh, they might uh, have smaller seeds so that's all gonna that is all going to calculate into the uh, soybean estimate at this point in time our total is 102 bushels per acre on organic soybeans um, I I did this the other day and my uh, my calculations actually came up to 90 bushels an acre and I did that down down uh, there so uh, where the where the edge of the tree line is that's where I took my sample that came up to 90 bushels an acre and on this end of the field I'm looking at 102 bushels an acre would it be nice if we have a total 15 plants per 21 inches yes it would 
realistically, you should probably take that and subtract a few plants. So more than likely, it's going to be probably across the field on average, um, maybe nine. I, I would be surprised if it was any less than nine. So let's do this at nine plants per acre and we'll see where that calculation is using all the rest of the same numbers or using that that same number on pods per plant so hang with me all right guys just did the math uh, if you take the same number of pods times nine plants per acre or sorry per 21 inches that gives you a total of 441 pods in the 21 inches you take that 441 times 2.5 seeds per pod, it gives you a total of 1,102.5. You take that number, divided by 18, and that still gives you a total bushel yield of 61. So, the crazy thing is, is I haven't seen nine plants per acre yet, or nine plants per 21 inches. I don't know why I keep saying per acre. Um, I am finding at least 15 plants uh 13 to 15 so at minimum 61 bushels an acre on certified organic soybeans on ground that's never been farmed before now will that continue god i hope so that would be awesome wouldn't it uh this is roughly 23 24 acres um and we do have if i can zoom in right out there once I focus you can see right where the dark green meets the top there's a bunch of yellow out there those are wild sunflowers about 14 feet tall they were not in this field last year I do not know where they came from so uh, I, I rotary hoed this no, I'm sorry I didn't rotary hoe this field I cultivated this field one time that's all I did one cultivation pass and I'd say 95% of the field is clean, but uh, we do have a few weeds out there, some some foxtail, uh, some velvet leaf out there just above my mirror. Right out there, there is a little bit of velvet leaf you can see poking up over the top. Um, a lot of my other fields have more weeds, but they have the, the same uh, bean counts per pod, roughly. I man, I, I just I I don't know if I if I'm doing everything right, which all indications says I am based off of uh, other videos I've watched, the research I've done. Um, I'm being pretty optimistic at one at one time, and then I'm also being pretty conservative at the same time. So um, it's a there's a fine line that you have to meet in there. These beans are four and a half get to be five feet tall um i didn't think i would have the weed pressure that i do even with this kind of canopy um i don't know how those sunflowers grew up after the fact but they did so um i may be getting out there by hand and and cutting them down so guys this is the lagoon this is an updated on the video uh, update to the video i made on the 27th of July this is where we're at now and there was another video I posted a, a while back on this same field so um, everything's looking good guys let's uh, hope it continues